Welcome to Heart of the Matter with WOY TV 7. I'm Sonia Hartle and I want to thank you for joining us this evening. As most of you know, I'm starting a new exciting journey with Heart of the Matter. This will be our first broadcast, our pilot episode, and so I'm glad to have all of you here this evening. I do want to take just a moment to say thank you for all of the emails, messages, phone calls that so many of you reached out to me for your love and support with my first interview. So that just meant so much to me and I, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. And also very important, I want to make sure that you reach out to me. I want to hear from you with your suggestions, your comments, prayer requests. Very important uh, that I hear from you. And also if you know someone that would like to share their story, they can reach me at heart of the matter, WYTV7 at gmail.com. They can also reach me on Messenger through Facebook. And so I'm very excited tonight. I have a very special guest. Uh, we've been friends for over 25 years. Also, we do a little co writing together. And so I'm very excited to have her with me to launch the broadcast of Heart of the Matter this evening. I want to tell you just a little bit about her. Uh, she is truly serving God in every aspect of her life, from taking care of her beautiful family, volunteering in the community in Denver. Uh, I've watched her lead praise and worship at so many different venues over the years. And then also, she's a part of Faith Touch Ministries. And so I want to give a big heartfelt welcome to my friend, Miss Peggy Tafey. And Peggy, I'm so glad to have you here tonight. And I want to go ahead and get started because we have a lot to share. And so if you would please just tell us a little bit about yourself and Face Touch Ministry. Well, good evening. It is so wonderful to be on this show. What an honor. And um, I'm excited to get to share. And, and Sonia, I'm so proud of you. This is a cool, cool venue. And uh, how fun to, to be a part of it. So Faith's Touch is a ministry that has, um, we've been together since 2004. We've been writing and singing most of our lives. And I say we, because it is myself and my twin sister, Patty Doss. And um, so Faith's Touch is, it's just a sweet organization that gets the opportunity to share our heart for Christ and uh, just the, the joy of sharing the good news with anyone that we come in contact with, but mainly it has been focused um, for women. You know, being a woman and having lived the lives that we've lived, it's just uh, so easy to reach out and share with other women what God has done in our lives, the journeys, the experiences, and music has been a part of our lives since we were uh, like eight. 18 months old <laughs> so, so it's a joy from every aspect well that is just absolutely wonderful and as long as I've known you from back in the days that we were in the music room at Ozark Elementary School and oh my goodness, you, would, yes. <laughs> you would play the <laughs> piano and my favorite song was I cast all my cares on you and so that just really ministered to me and I just love you know watching you grow and you know be a part of Face Touch. Now I know it's always very challenging when you form a ministry and there's always a challenge when you're trying to find a perfect name in God's direction. So how did you and Patty come up with the name Face Touch? I tell you, it was an interesting process. We both started researching and really just praying and um, going before God to, because it, it had to be the right name and it had to come from um, the heart of God. So in our research, I happened on a, uh, a scripture in a devotional Bible, a women's devotional Bible. And it was the scripture Mark um, 5, 25 through 34, discussing the woman with the blood issue. And there was a phrase, the way it was phrased was so cool. And it, it talked about when she reached out and touched the hem of Jesus' garment, that he responded to faith's touch. And when I read that line, I started weeping and I knew that that was going to be the title um, and the name of, well, it ended up being the title of a song, but the name of our ministry. 
And um, to me, it's so powerful. And it's such a perfect description of our Jesus that he just does. He responds to our faith's touch. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is just wonderful. And I love hearing you how, how the name came about. And, you know, we talked a little bit about the significance. And so would you share just a little bit more about really what that means to you over and above that in the significance of faith's touch? Well, in respect to the name, having um, the life experiences that I have had and that Pat has had, oh my goodness, that each one of us has. It, it doesn't matter who it is, but in the struggle, in the valleys, in um, dealing with today, let alone tomorrow, uh, having the opportunity to reach out to to God in those moments and in those times and knowing that he responds to us and to um, our cries and to our joy and to whatever it is that we we reach out from wherever that place is he always responds and I love that it has built my faith it has um, just increased my my joy in, in my walk every day. That is amazing. And I love the part that you shared about, we always know that when we reach out, he always responds. And so I absolutely love that. And I think face touch is such a beautiful example of that love and the faith that we have. And when we have it, he automatically responds to that. And so would you share just a little bit more about the title song on the CD? You bet. The first CD that we recorded, um, we had the wonderful opportunity to go to Memphis, Tennessee and record in Ardent Studios in downtown Memphis, which was quite an experience. Um, the title of the CD is Faith's Touch. And God put a song on my heart that just um, was the, the essence of faith's touch. And, it, you know, in the, uh, I know it was in a difficult time in my life after I had lost a husband to cancer. And, and that's where faith's touch, the song actually came from as far as uh, the lyrics to the song and the emotions of the song and, um, you know, it was so powerful to us that it just felt right making it the title song of the CD. I think that's absolutely wonderful. And I love the story that you shared and how that came from your heart. And it's amazing when we go through times like that, that God inspires us and that the things we go through can help other people. Okay. And I, I had mentioned a story on my interview last week about a song when you were recording in Ardent and how I had reached out to you and uh, shared the lyrics and written the song. And uh, if you'd share just a little bit about that, I will never forget that night when I read those lyrics to you and how you responded immediately. And so if you just kind of finish my story. <laughs> you bet. And, you know, I remember it so well, Sonia, because... In the studio, we were, you go in with so many songs that you want to record, right? And we had some in place. And when you shared those lyrics with me, we actually replaced one of the songs that we were going to do. We just finished, you know, basically honing what you gave to us and put it on the CD because it was so strong. It was so um, powerful just in the message that, that when we fall, He's always going to lift us up. And, you know, there's the scripture. Um, let me think. What is it? Psalm, I think it's 145, 14, that talks about um, the Lord. Up, he upholds us all and that we are to cling to him. He lifts us. He lifts everyone that bows down to him. But we are to cling to him. So when we fall, there's always, we are always able to reach out to him. And he holds on. 
we have to hold on to. <laughs> that is absolutely true. And so uh, at, at this time, if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and share that song. Um, okay. It seemed to be kind of a favorite when you, I think, put it on your website and had a lot of requests for that song. And so is that okay with you if we go ahead and play that song right now? Do you have anything else or any way you'd like to introduce it? Or would you like for me to just go ahead and play it? Let's play it. I think right. now is a great time. Okay. I tell you, just listening to that takes me back uh, to that night that I wrote the song. And I, like I said, I just can remember your voice on the phone and how excited you were. And even though it's been several years ago, that song, when I hear it, it still even ministers to me. So when things like that happen, I feel like God wrote the song, not me. It was just, I had the pen in my hand and 
uh, like I said last week, I was just the willing vessel. And so I just think that's the case. And especially with the way things transpired, you know, in the studio and with you immediately, you know, hearing the music. And so thank you so much for um, letting me be a part of that song. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And thank you for sharing that. With <laughs> well, Peggy, I, uh, I want to talk just a little bit about your demographics for your ministry. Um, how did you decide that? And did you choose a certain demographic for a reason? Or can you just share a little bit about that part of your ministry? You bet. You know, the we have found over the years that um, really the, the best listeners or the uh, – the audience that enjoys our music the most and our um, message the most tends to be women between the ages of, you know, probably late twenties and on. Um, I think our, our late twenties today, I don't know if they would enjoy that or not, or um, it seems to be a, a, a bit tougher generation today, but because um, they've lived a little bit more life, there's a little bit more understanding of um, a God heart and knowing how much God loves them and learning. It's such a journey, as you know, Sonia, but learning to trust in God in our journey. And it's, um, wow, it's just not always easy. But... When you've got someone that has experienced the same thing you have or um, something close to it, then there's going to be a bond and there's going to be a connection. And life experiences um, just lead us to each other that way. I think that is so true. And I think sometimes it depends on where someone is in their life and like you mentioned we all go through things and sometimes during that time frame we feel like that we may not can handle whatever that journey is at the time whatever that situation it is and I know that we've both been through some of those together and I tell you I want to thank you for being my friend during a lot of those because I don't know how I you know would have survived but you always pointed me toward God always and when we have friends like that, that will lift us up, pray with us, help us just lay our burdens down at the feet of Jesus. And basically, like you've always told me, cast your cares on him. And so I am so happy that, you know, you are involved in this type of ministry. And I know we talked about, is it specifically limited to women or are you reaching out in other areas or does it depend on the, the music, the lessons, the um, type of ministry that you're involved in? You know, it is it is not specifically for women. Um, I know that there are men that enjoy the music as well. And I, of course, it's a, it's just a, a God heart. And the, the, uh, the love of uh, praising God and enjoying being in an intimate, relationship with him and the music of course always I don't know I know it does for you and prayerfully it does for anybody that's listening but music just draws us into God's presence um, so much easier and so much more encompassing and I just I, I love that about Christian music so it is not it, it is a very wide um, array of people that enjoy this and I will tell you the cool thing about being having the music on um, iTunes and other you know Apple music and things like that we get to see that people around the world are streaming our music I just looked at it today and um, Australia Denmark uh, let's see Venezuela there are people streaming our music in other countries and that's just that's just so God and it's so amazing amazing to be a part of that uh, that is so exciting and like you said music can transcend and God can transcend through the music and so uh, that's very exciting to me that you have that kind of a vast you know audience of listeners and you know the prayer is always that their heart would be open and that oh, yeah. God would touch them 
and it kind of goes back to the face touch. And so that is just absolutely wonderful. Now, Peggy, I know that you have a more recent uh, project that you've been working on, and I believe it is entitled, Could This Be the Day? Yes. Would you share a little bit about your heart and what that new project means to you moving forward? Yes. So this is, um, this CD has music that uh, Pat and I both wrote. And um, we were able to record with uh, a young man in, um, he is now in Tulsa. His name is Mike Bailey. And very creative, quite a, a bit more contemporary than Faith's Touch. But, um, man, so much fun, so much fun to record. Could This Be the Day uh, is entitled that because it is, um, it, it was a song that God gave me. I had listened to, uh, um, I believe it was Max Licato, that it was, um, and you know, he's so, so descriptive his his language is so visual when he speaks you can just see it and the story um had to do with do i have time to to go into that a little bit yes we've got just a few more minutes i believe you do i'd love to hear that story okay okay so the story is you're driving down the road and all of a sudden the clouds start coming around and it starts getting darker and you're noticing that other people are pulling off on the side of the road and getting out of the cars and looking up. And as he describes this, you get out of the car, you're, you're with him, but you get out of the car and you look up and you see the clouds parting and Jesus is stepping out in the clouds. And it, you know, just the way he describes it, just, I don't know, just quickens my spirit. And so this song came out of kind of that story that he had shared. And, you know, we don't ever know if this could be the day when uh, something major like that happens. That's absolutely true. And I, that's just an amazing story. And I love the thought, you know, could this be the day? And, you know, if you know God, you know Jesus, that's an exciting time for you. Could this be the day? And so, um, Peggy, I do want to ask you, Now, I know you mentioned a few places earlier, but where can people actually listen uh, to your music, hear your music? Um, how do they find you to hear uh, your music on FaceTouch? Well, right now, I'm in the process of um, reconstructing our website. So we will be up at faithstouch.org um, and it will be very soon the um we're kind of changing our format of our website to be more of a blog and uh, our music will be hosted on that site as well but we have music with um there is itunes and apple music and google play and sony music um those are the oh and spotify Spotify seems to be really big out there. So okay. we have a few other stores, but you can see them online when we uh, get our website going. All right. Well, that's just, that is all in a vast array. So people should be able to find you. And uh, Peggy, we've got just another minute or two. Uh, is there anything else on your heart that you would like to share with our listeners um, from Face Touch? Well, uh, you know, there are a couple of other projects coming up. Pat has written a book um, called Sweet Dreams, which deals with type 1 diabetes. And her son, actually, it was infant type 1 diabetes. And um, it's a pretty amazing book. And we've been sharing that on our website. And we have a project that is actually being put together right now. I'm not going to give anything away because <laughs> maybe we can come back and share that at another time but it's absolutely. pretty exciting. it's pretty exciting absolutely that just gives me an excuse to have you on again i always love it when you join me and I, i'm going to have to talk to patty she's going to have to come on and share about the book because yeah. i know that is a very very strong testimony i remember that time when she went through all of that and so can't wait to have her on to talk about her new book oh, yeah. and 
Uh, just in closing this evening, uh, Peggy, I just want to thank you again for being part of the launch of Part of the Matter. And yeah. so I want to thank all of our listeners and just love everybody and just pray that God blesses you with his love and favor in your families. And just want to let you know, you can hear the broadcast on Wednesday evenings. Uh, it'll be at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And again, that'll be uh, WITV7, uh, Christian Broadcast Network out of North Carolina. And thank you so much for joining Heart of the Matter with Sonia Hartle and Peggy Tapey this evening.